I will say one thing about this game. Uh, it, it definitely has the coziest hub of any game that I've ever played. Uh, you're gonna be hearing that laugh a lot. Just, for anybody that hasn't played this game, you're gonna be hearing that a lot. There it is. Me, 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 me. Oh, what? So if Banjo got his own cereal, would it be called Brando? I, you know, Boysen, I'm gonna have to take away your moderator powers for that one. Yeah, you know, and again, I'm so happy that they added Banjo in Smash. Uh, Banjo and Kazooie, I'm sorry. In Smash, uh, because when they do things like that, it genuinely feels like they're actually listening to the fans, and I love stuff like that. You know, and then they go ahead and add characters like Byleth, which sound, which seems like they're not listening to anybody, <laughs> which makes me very sad. So, very basic mechanics here: you grab Jiggies, and then you go to these incomplete puzzle puzzles, and then you yeah, add them, add, yeah, add the Jiggies in there, and then and then you unlock the world. JJ, oh man, I just I have to dish out a lot of bands here by the end of this playthrough. <laughs> Everybody's getting banned. But we need to stay in the termite form in order to get that jiggy that I um yeah, see. Okay, thank you, Bubbles. Uh we need the termite form to get up here to get the jiggy from that uh from Tilda square face switch thing. But if you go too far away from a world with Mumbo's magic, then uh this happens. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a speed run. I'm on par for, or I'm on pace for world record time here. WR here. That that was a, a gold, by the way. That was a gold time split. So here we go with a musical note door. It's very simple. The number on the door means how many notes you have to have collected in total. What creature is after him? I don't know. I don't think he actually is a, a like a creature or anything. It's a good day. Yeah, it's a good dance, but you know, it takes up time. You know, and I'm speed running here, clearly. Oh, I can't skip through this for some reason. Huh. Okay, Fifi. <laughs> wow, thanks. So off we go to the second floor here. Uh, now, we got another character here named Bren Tilda, who is Gruntilda's good sister. And every time you talk to her, she'll tell you something about Gruntilda. And the entire point of this character is you're literally supposed to write down everything that she tells you. Because everything that she tells you about Gruntilda's, like, you know, biggest secrets or whatever, changes every time you re or, uh, start a new save. With salted, slug-flavored toothpaste. Yum. I think she tells you two every time. Engine oil. Does she tell you anything else? Oh, and she gets her from Saggy Maggie's Boutique. Okay, yeah, okay, so it's three different things every time you, you talk to her. The reason for that character's only existence is near the end of the game, you do, like, this game show thing. And... One of the spaces that you can land on asks you a question about Gruntilda, and you have to get it right based on the Gruntilda answers. Or you can just guess, which I think is a one in three chance that you get it right. But uh, I think, like, the path that I take, I usually don't uh, run into any of those spaces, or I don't, like, really have any trouble with them. Just, like, every every time you get one of them wrong, like, you just, like, take one hit of damage. So, as long as you have enough health, honestly, you can just run right through it. So these magic cauldrons let you teleport uh, from place to place when you find two of the same color inside of the layer here. Uh, this green thing. If anybody's ever played Smash Brothers Melee, or... Ultimate. I don't even know why I called it Melee. Uh, Banjo Kazooie used that as, uh, I think, their recovery move. And that's the Shock Jump Spring, which uh, we're going to learn about in this next world. 
Treasure Trove Cove. I can't remember if I need or I can get anything here. No, it doesn't really it's just health. Yeah, that's later. This is my favorite level in the game, just because of the secrets. Completely missed that box. Alrighty. Oh, that's right, I need to go up on... Hello? Rude? Dude? Let me go up on here. Alrighty. What's up? What's up, dude? Alright. Ha ha! We really did it! <sighs> Believable. <laughs> Gaggle. Oh, hey, you guys, you guys want to see something really far off in the future here? Your butt will tell you, and you'll know. Okay. Oh, that actually kind of reminds me. Uh, you know, I did do uh, a video on Banjo Kazooie somewhat recently. Here's, uh, here's the final world in the game, Click Clockwood. But uh, unfortunately, I haven't unlocked the Jiggy Putter Inner uh, thing here. So, I have to do that in one of the levels. I forget which one. I think it's Rusty Bucket Bay. But uh, yeah, uh, somewhat recently. I want to say recently. Recently for my uh, standards. Uh, when I did the Gruntilda, the final Gruntilda boss battle video. And that was fun! Uh, you know, with all the boss battles, I try my absolute best to do them in a way that I don't get hit. Oh, I think I just went the wrong way. But whatever, it's fine. I have to unlock that at some point anyway. Um, and doing that one without getting hit was kind of obnoxious. Um, I definitely practiced at it for like a few hours. And the thing that was really annoying about it, I'm going away again. I mean, I'm supposed to come here, but I need to go down the downstairs first. Um, the thing that was annoying about it was the very end, and trying to avoid her while she dive bombs you while trying to unearth the Jinjo statues. That was so annoying. And I think. Uh, Oh no, that's right. I'm sorry. It's not the next world that the Mumbo Hut is in. It's the next next world. Sorry. Okay. A little close up there. Rusty. I don't. You know. <laughs> Again, I'm gonna have to start dishing out some bands. What in the world did I just glitch? <laughs> was I inside that thing, or was that just like bad camera angle? Thingy that I need is right. Yeah. And then, of course, like the very last portion of the fight, um, when you're trying to summon the Jinjonator, that was really hard to not get hit as well because she fires these like homing fireballs at you, and you literally cannot avoid them, even with like you know solid objects in the way. You have to. Uh, either just get hit by them, or use the golden feathers. Which, speaking of that, we will be learning that very soon. Oh dear, no! <sighs> that really just happened. Also, you, oh, that's right, you can make these guys explode. Uh, either, well, you know, by getting hit by them, or hitting them with an egg. Wow, I just swim all the way back up there now. Wonderful. Congratulations, your winner. <laughs> yeah, but it was implied, and everybody knew what you meant. <sighs> Rude. All right. Yeehaw. Okay. So then we go into the third world, which is, honestly, I want to say, like, my least favorite world. Uh, I don't know, I just find this one super bland. Oh, this is Bubble Glip. This is not even the right friggin' picture. Hello. There we go. 
This is the fourth world. Alright. <laughs> is it weird that I literally forgot where the the the, the puzzle is for uh Clanker's Cavern? It's actually very weird. Okay, this happens every so often when you're just kind of meandering through the the, the, the lair for until to just talk to you and trash talk to you. Oh, I know where it is. Right. Whoops. <laughs> it's out in that big area that I was at uh, when I did the Rusty Bucket Bay puzzle. LOL! LOL guys, we're lolling. <sighs> Silly me. Alright. Go over here, and then a boinger. And here it is, I found it. Yay! Huzzah! Also, I love how there's a command where... Uh... <laughs> oopsie whoopsie. Uh, I love how there's a command where you can actually take the puzzle pieces that you've placed in and take them back out, but you can't do that once the puzzle is completed. So, like, I, like for some reason, like, just in case you're filling in the wrong puzzle, question mark? Which I don't even think that's possible. Like, yeah, I just did it for World 4, and, like, you know, I, I was supposed to do it for World 3, but I still had enough jiggies to fill in both of them. I literally think it's impossible. <sighs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's move on. I already got uh, bu bubble, bubble Gloop Swamp. I already got it unlocked. Might as well just go straight there. <sighs> How do I even mess that up? <laughs> this so simple. Uh, now this one... I'm like 90% sure it's going to give me a hard time, at least for like a couple of these jiggies. There's one where you have to pretty much race the clock. That one I'm really not looking forward to. Also, you have to unlock the, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, no, you don't get it yet. Um, uh, the, the boots or whatever for, um, Kazooie, because if you jump into this swamp here, you get bitten by like piranhas or something that exists. But you don't actually, like, see them, they're just implied to be there. <laughs> okay. Wonderful rhyme. Beats in the game that do, like, some really goofy stuff to, uh, to Banjo and Kazooie. Uh, I remember one of the, like, you, you input the word cheat beforehand, and each time you type in the letters of, you know, the five letters of cheat, that you hear a cow moo, and then you type in, like, the actual, like, cheat code itself. And when you do that, uh, there's like some, some silly stuff that can happen. Uh, one of which can turn Banjo into a, a washing machine. <laughs> oh no, I have to break this first. Hack on a stick. Hmm. Alright, well, no Cheeto this time. I, I'll, I'll definitely, I'll come back to it. But, uh, yeah, oh, that's right. I don't think I can activate this with, uh, the crocodile. Oh, I can! Okay. Oh, che- <laughs> no, not that Cheeto. Cheat. Like, cheating. Cheat. And then, oh. Also, that's not even the next level, is it? I'm pretty sure the next level is, uh, Gobi's Valley. Oops, okay. Yeah, I like the ship. Yeah, I, you know, I, I can see it. I just, I, that whole time, I just genuinely wasn't thinking about it. So I don't remember specifically what area, God, oh, go away, uh, specifically what area, or what limit I need to, what in the world? I don't remember the camera ever giving me this much trouble. Ah, uh, here it is. Oh, 
Oh my god, hello? That wasn't even fair, that guy spawn camped me. My god. Alright, I think I will actually just go ahead and get the, the Cheeto right now. Yeah, not, not Cheetos, cheese flavored snacks. Okay, see you later, Tri Kingdom. Thank you for stopping on by. Oh, oh no. Okay. Yeah, this one's extra long to get you over to this area. Oops, okay. Oops, there we go. Oh, beautiful. Just what I needed. Just what I needed! Alright, now we can actually get into that area. I forgot that there was, like, that ice boulder. Oh, wow, that gold feather respawned. Which means the other one outside respawned. Here we go, in a little Cheeto tunnel. Very, very fancy, and he's got fancy music. This is him, this is Cheetos. That didn't rhyme. <laughs> Blue eggs on the sand castle floor. Right, this is um this is the way to uh double your eggs, red feathers and gold feathers. Is there anything else in here? Alright. Well, that was Cheetos. <laughs> Wee. Oh, okay. Ugh. All right. I'm gonna grab that gold feather, and then I'll be back up to five. That's pretty nice. You love Cheetos, huh? Do you love getting them all over your fingers? Uh, you like getting them on your fingers? Do you lick them off? Or like the, you know, the cheese dust off? Oh god. Uh, that's unnecessary. Why did he dive bomb me that far? They're not gaming food. Well, depends on who you ask. Oh no, not again, not again, not again! Oh! Oh, wow. Okay, he went through me that time. Give Pliz a voice in. Why did that not... Why is that not showing up, the actual emote? Alrighty then. So we're off again. I'm pretty sure I'm going the correct way here. Yeah, I'm doing this from memory. You know, what I could have done since the last time I was recording this... <gasps> What's that? This is a new recording session? <laughs> Asp. Um, what I could have done... Oh, my mouse cursor was over the thing. Uh, what I could have done was, you know, looked up like a, uh, I don't know, like a guide or something, and uh, like a, some sort of speed run, perhaps, and saw exactly where to go, but I didn't. I'm, uh, I'm staying true to this meme of, you know, let's, let's see how much Anthony actually remembers. Alrighty then, let's go ahead and get this. I, no, I can't remember if this is timed. I don't think it is. I can't remember if it's like timed up until the point where you, uh, actually get this. Which once we go down this little urn, or I should say big urn, then we go down the giant Gruntilda statue and get that jiggy from Bubble Goop Swamp. I remember that. <laughs> uh, are we going on red feathers? I can't even remember. Hello. There we go. Good ish. I'm the master. You know, that, oh my god, that actually reminds me. Uh, when I was little and growing up, the 
you know, the bosses of each game, I would personally refer to them as a boss. You know, boss, mini boss, whatever. I don't remember where the first time I like heard that term was, but um, that's how I would refer it to. Uh, some of my friends actually referred to it as master instead. Uh, hmm, what am I forgetting here? Yeah, I need the um, the booties, the big booties. All right then. <laughs> what did I? <laughs> I said a bad word. So was this? You know, I I I go through so many words so quickly that I didn't remember what I say. Um, did I? Oh, here we go. I was gonna say, did I get everything in this room? I'm doing lots of hugs in the chat too. I say, ah, there it is. Uh, the butt word. Oh man, the butt word. It's a banjo kazoo jamboree. I'll find it in post. Yeah. Yeehaw! Alrighty then, so, oh, oh my! So you want to be a little bit careful with uh, standing in this quicksand looking stuff. It won't instant kill you. Right! I need to actually open this level. Uh, <laughs> again, memory! Uh, this quicksand looking stuff, because it won't instant kill you, but it does harm you, because Sand eels exist in there. Good question. It's really hard to make me climb. Oh my goodness, I don't remember where. Hmm. I don't remember where the Gobi's Valley one is. How does quicksand burn you? See, like, that's another thing that would make sense, because the level there is Gobi's Valley, and it's a very hot level. Oh, we, we don't have enough notes here. Um, and it's a very hot level, so you would imagine that, like, you know, you could probably say that, hey, um, maybe the sand is just too hot to step on. But instead, oh, hey, we found the, the a cauldron at the very beginning. Uh, but instead, uh, sand eels live in there. Uh, I forget what that's for. Oh, I think I remember. Huh. Is it in here? I feel like it might be in here. If it's in here, then I'm doing these levels out of order. Yep, I'm doing them out of order. Okay, so I'm actually supposed to do freeze easy heat first. Interesting. Oh right, I already I unlocked freeze easy peak. That's right. Ha! Huh. I am doing them out of order. Silly me. Yeah, he has bare feet. Ha! Huh? Uh, funny. Until to put it through the heater. Also, yeah, you don't want to fall here. This actually is instant death if you fall here. Uh, that's lava down there. There's actually a Cheeto page in that room, too. Uh, when you have to... Ooh, hello. You have to take the, uh... The, uh, 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 uh um... Beady, beady bop thing. Uh, the, uh, uh, Mumbo transformation from Mad Monster Mansion. In the, uh... In that room, and it's a very... Do them in the order that they were intended to be done. Oh, great. Uh, let's see if I can't get this, uh, this, uh, witch switch jiggy. I actually, actually kind of needed that. Just what I needed! Oh, wait, oh, there's something over here. Oh! Oh my god, that noise! Oh, I need the speed shoes for this! 
peck on a stick. All right, never mind. Uh, yeah, those are the speed shoes. What are those? D capital D colon. <laughs> Whoa! Love it. Yeah, that's yeah. It's so hard to get to that. You get what did it give you? Twelve seconds to run from that spot all the way over to here. Which, obviously, is impossible to do normally, but with the speed shoes, it's just barely possible. Ha! Huh, barely. Uh, so funny. Alright, let's get those, uh, wading boots. Just like my, just like my great-grandpappy used to do, walking around in the, in the bayou. Hello! I, I love this. I love getting just stuck on the steps. That's super neat. God, have I barely got any time here? Uh, I'm gonna take a hit here. Nope. Oh! I didn't actually take a hit here, but the game assumes that I did. Hellameo. Hello, Mr. Giant. What is that thing supposed to be, like a scarab beetle or something? Nope. Ah. <laughs> I wonder if that, if there's like a glitch for that. If there's like, um, oh, that was this one. Oh. If there's like a glitch where like you can, uh, hang on a sec. There we go. If you can sort of like frame perfect continue to jump. After you're supposed to be like forced out of the boots and just like keep keep it going for much longer than it's supposed to be, because you know from everything that I've learned about like speed running and like glitching at games in general, uh, frame perfect jumps do exist and they cause a myriad of interesting things. Like there's this one guy that I follow. You know I I've I've said for the longest time that I don't really watch a lot of YouTubers for gaming content. But there is one guy that I make an exception for, named um, Strider7x, who does a lot of Paper Mario glitch videos, and they're very entertaining. Um, wh oh, whoops, I went the wrong way. And uh, there's a, like this one bug that he loves to abuse in Paper Mario 64, where you can frame-perfect jump continuously, and as long as you keep frame-perfect jumping every time Mario hits the ground, you can continue to jump much further than, like, what you would normally be able to do. So, like, I think, like, a common glitch that he does is you walk into an area where you, um... Uh, it's, like, where you, uh, go between maps, I think it was, and, like, the split second you have control of Mario... Or was it... I think it was maybe either before you go into the next area or something, and it's, like, you jump, and then you, like, retain control of Mario before he actually goes into the next area, and you know, like, you, you kind of store that. And then you can frame perfect jump to different areas and like cause all sorts of uh, weird bugs that weren't intended to be happen that weren't intended to happen because, you know, Mario was not supposed to be uh, moving into a different map at this point in time. Oh my god, I got it! Okay. Interesting how I got that first try. I thought like I screwed up and and lost it. Uh, well, I think it's it's also probably because I'm sitting back. But yeah, I, I unfortunately, I kind of want to keep my voice volume like this. Uh, wow! God, I hate those guys. Double wow! Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's have a, a bit of a rematch here. Where are you? Gotcha. Huh. What do you think of that, jerk? Also, let me keep this flight going. Because I did notice that there was a couple of things, and I really don't want to stop flying for Ooh, for that. Yeah, this is like the tough part where uh you know, this the, the like the run killer, you know, like running towards that flight pad and actually getting on it uh, is tough enough, but like, then that little tiny tunnel that you have to fly through is also, um, is also uh, troubling. Yeah, this one right here. 
what is some what did she just say something about like washing and then cash all right so let me just make sure i don't take a bunch of fall damage here all right so now i can get the final jiggy and freeze easy peak all right that's it for freeze easy all right let's go Wee oh no you don't <laughs> sniper okay great so we're off again off to the places where her magic stuff happens why are you worried oh <laughs> nice I like how we're back to talking about random stuff I think I think you want to take a sting oh maybe I shouldn't be on this for this because this is a little scary my belly's big, it's rather neat. It's years since I've seen my feet, of course. <sighs> that was, you know, I, I, there, there was a, uh, a recent one that she said that I didn't actually get the meaning of initially. When she says, um, it was like my clothes stink or something. I never, I never, um, I never bathe or I never wash or something. I never, like, I never wash it, I save my cash. And so, initially, I thought that was like, oh, those are two completely different things that, you know, like, she's talking about. But no, it's it literally she saves cash because she never bathes. Yikes. Also, I'm gonna be 100% honest here, I forget where the, the puzzle for this is. Oh, no. <laughs> the what face. I know, I thought she was just like randomly saying, oh yeah, I saved my cash. You know, like she's, you know, thrifty or whatever. And she's like, no, I literally saved my cash because I don't bathe. Oh, God. Yeah, this is uh, one of the Cheeto roads. I need to be the pumpkin for that. My bed gives me a rash. That was it. I never wash. I saved my cash. That was it, yes. Cheeto. You know, I think I, I think I know where it is. I noticed that the thing that they like to do with this game is they like to, especially towards the end, they like to make you go towards areas that have worlds that you haven't unlocked yet, and then are like, oh hey, you know, here's the puzzle piece. By the way, look at what's coming up next. Hoony Pop. I'm. I'm all right. Thanks. Thanks for the. Uh, thanks for that suggestion, though. We'll go right in the suggestion box. Wake up. I forget where this guy goes. I think he goes really near the top of the castle. Imagine. No. <laughs> Oh my god, we did it. That's it, we beat the game. That's it, goodbye everybody. Thanks for watching this playthrough. Uh, it was really fun. Had a lot of fun. That's it, though. Is it in here? <laughs> I'm so lost. Oh wait, oh, I remember where it is. Yes, I know where it is. It's, I have to uh, make the water go up though. Oh god, ow. You little jerk. <laughs> Shortest Let's Play episode ever. Woo! Wait, where's the, um... Man, I am super lost. It's It's been way too long since I played this game, and this is so telling. Stop being uni on main. Love if I just cut off Gruntilla there. <laughs> Alright, well, what did you learn in that hour, Julia? Tell, uh, tell me all of your wisdom. Was it actually through here? It actually is through here, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you can jump. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hot tips coming in from Julia. There's A to shoot.
God, I hate. Oh, see, I hate having to jump through these little alcoves like alcoves like this. It's the worst. Although I love how this little area is kind of done up like Mad Monster, Man Monster Mansion. <sighs> Yay! I will say one thing about this game. Uh, it, it definitely has the coziest hub of any game that I've ever played. And I have played... No! I wanted that. And I've played some more in Galaxy. I'm, I'm getting that. I'm going back and I'm getting that. <laughs> I'm gonna head out. <laughs> okay, bye, Lex. See you later. Thanks for uh, stopping by and playing some game. <laughs> oh my, I was gonna say, if I miss that again, I will be big mad. You wouldn't like me when I'm big mad. Um, where? Oh. Alrighty. Ika bokum. Ika bokum. I can't do her voice. <laughs> Ika bokum. That's that's just not not gonna happen. It is not happening, duds. Oh, I remember how to raise the water, right? I have to beat Mad Monster Mansion and get the pumpkin uh, transformation. Go out and then go to the right into that little house that has the cracked door. And then uh, inside of there is a, uh, a button to raise the water. Did I mention this cup? This cup? <laughs> I mentioned this hub is cozy as frick. Because it is. Oh, not really? Whoa, hey, you weren't supposed to follow me that far. Right, good. I can't believe they put Banjo and Kazooie from Smash in its. I'm pretty sure I made that joke before, Sav. I'm 100% sure that I made that joke like in part one of this playthrough where I said, wow, I can't believe they gave Banjo and Kazooie from Smash their own video game. Nothing's <laughs> cozier than a witch's lair. Well, I mean, who's to say? You know, have there ever really been any real witches in history? Come on, dude. Let's, let's be realistic here. Also, I feel like there's gotta be something not this, but something else hidden, for sure. One of these tombstones or something. Oh, hello. You. She, why is she just hanging out? She's just hanging out in the spooky graveyard like, hey. <laughs> this is where I come on Thursday nights. Oh, don't forget to eat Sniddle, thank you. He, he says as of like an hour into this. Uh, heck. <laughs> oh, no. He's so fast! Oh. Big, I don't... Hmm. Can we get some lewds in the chat for that one? That was uh, very lewd. Oh, I love this little side area. This is so cool. Hey, look, Mambo is here. It's Daddy Mambo. <gasps> love he's just in here. Sog. I don't know who'd want to snog with Gruntilda, but hey, you know, to each their own, I guess. Here's that switch that I talked about. Look, did you see that frame-perfect jump? Did you guys see that? I did a frame-perfect jump. Frame-perfect. It was perfectly framed. Oh, now I have to transform back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know, right? I did one whole 
frame perfect jump. Yump. On a 30 FPS game. Booba! Yum! Shut up, Momo. Nobody likes your pumpkin jokes. You creep. You jerk. Oh, hello. That dude just rar XD'd at me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying, Adorbson. Alright, let's get that next Cheeto page. Since, you know, I figure I might as well. Hopefully I don't die doing this, because uh, this, this pathway to get there is very sweats to me. I think I'm going to... Uh, obviously I want to spin the camera, but... Ooh, God. Oh, hell. Help. I'm so scared right now. It's so dark, too. Oh, okay. Made it. I hate how dark it is. I hate, hate, hate how dark this is. Hello! How you doing? <laughs> I like how they used the wrong fan there. Yeah. And that's to double your red feathers. Hey! <laughs> Why is this guy gotta be so rude? Boy, I, O, oh, I? Help! <laughs> uh, see, now it doesn't super matter if I die, but I'd like to not die. Oh my. Gotta love Banjo's shorts. On the pumpkin, though. <laughs> that's just, that's the best part of this. Yeah, because I don't know if I die here, I don't know where it's going to send me. That's, that's the whole thing. Alrighty. Yeehaw! Come, you're gone. Come, you're gone. <laughs> True. <laughs> now that now that's a statement that I can agree with. <laughs> when you put it into terms like that that I can understand, then I'm on board. up here, and if and I recall correctly, which I'm probably wrong, um, oh, Wait. no, I can't, so. we'll see about that, baby. oh god, that was scary, <laughs> god, I actually, for some reason, did not expect... Oh, I missed the um, empty honeycomb piece. In Mad Monster Mansion, the second one. I don't remember where the second honeycomb is. Empty honeycomb piece is. Oh, wee ha. What do you got here for me, rareware? Oops. Oh, God. 
Ah, oh, yes, there we go. That's what I needed. Oh, my gold feather. <laughs> Again, I just love how these little side rooms are done. This is just like the next area that we're going to be going to. Rusty Bucket Bay! Hooray! It's a ship! It sure is. I knew I missed something in the room with Mozart. There was, um... A flight pad somewhere, and if you fly up to the very top of the room, there's, um, there's like some wooden beams or whatever. I don't really know why I'm going this way, I was just, just kind of curious as to what was over here. Uh, yeah, and there's some wood- oh, what the? Okay, drowning, that's what's over here. Some wooden beams, and, uh, if you go on top of them, one of them has the, uh, I just didn't see the flight thing. I don't remember where it is. Alright. I guess I'll just swim my way into Rusty Bucket Bay right now. Winging it as I'm going along. Get it? Winging it? Like I'm flying? <laughs> And we are golden. Persona 4 golden? Was it 4? Or was it 5? It was golden. Golden mushroom, of course. Yay! There it is! The dragon found it! Yeah! <laughs> You know what? I have to backtrack anyway to unlock the next world. Yeah, because I was going to say, because I, I know that like the, the Persona 5 Strikers game uh, is coming out soon. And I was just like, you know, why would they have made like a re-release of Persona 5 right after uh, like it was released, like what, on Switch, I think? And then like, um, right before, you know, a standalone like offshoot or whatever is going to come out. Alrighty then, Cowboy SG, thank you for stopping on by. Hope to see you again soon. Oh, it's not on Switch? Oh. Huh. I don't know anything about Persona, leave me alone. So the only annoying thing about um, having to backtrack through here is that I have to do the thing with the running shoes again. One more, one more lull, and I am out! Oh god. Teehee? Oh? Oh? Again, I hate it when it gets dark. That's the worst part, because I can't see. Heh <laughs> heh. Excuse me? Oh, wait a minute. Now... Wait a minute. Do I have to do the thing with the... Oh my god. That dude literally just hit me twice before I could do anything. I have to do the thing with the, uh, the flight pad, don't I? Oh my god, I do. Yikes. It just gets more and more complicated. <laughs> Winner. Is 
sniper snowman. Uh, he's on the case. Where? What? Huh? Worms? Oh. Found it. <laughs> Screw it, I'll just go this way. Got it. <laughs> the sneaky footsies. <laughs> Alright, now we go and backtrack even more. Wait. Wait. There's a cauldron here that I think is... Oh! Is this taking me back to this? Or E again? Oh yes, collect that egg. Very good. Oh my god, that's right! I forgot all about this! <laughs> that was, I think that was from, um, Clanker's Cavern. The Witch Switch. Wow. I was, you know, I was just thinking, like, why am I missing two Jiggies when there's only one world left? Oh, holy moly. I can't believe I forgot about that. I mean, I was like, and I even remembered that, like, when I was editing the videos, and, like, I saw me, like, hit the witch switch, and then I remembered, oh, wait, I never actually went and got that. And then the next time I played, I just forgot about it. Oh. Oh. Frick. Pot friend. Dang it. Yeah, there's a, a switch that I have to hit, um, and I don't remember exactly like, where it is, because, um, there's like a switch that I have to, uh, oh, I guess, yeah, it's, I guess it's in the Click Lockwood lobby. And there's a switch that I have to hit to unlock the, uh, the platform to place the Jiggies into the puzzle for Click Lockwood. So I have to re-backtrack. Whoops. My god. <laughs> so terrible. Whoops, wait, where's my... The big old lump. Tighter rump. <laughs> Love a good rump. Whoops. I was wondering why it was showing me my music notes. Isn't a rump just a pair of lumps? Boysen? Get out. Looks like these guys. These guys need to get out too. Get him. Alrighty, hello, Mr. Bull. Where is it? Is it behind? Possibly? Not behind. <laughs> ah, correct. Noob! There it is. <sighs> so yeah, who's ready to go into the forest? Oh, oh god. <laughs> Oh, 
I saw that little switch there. Make the water go up even further. Oh, that's only for 30 seconds. Wait, what do I need that for? There's something in the other room, isn't there? Wait, I think it's something in here. Oh, it's the Cheeto thing! Yes, it's the third Cheeto page. God, I was spinning that camera around so hard, I was like, where, 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 where? <laughs> uh, that was funny. And you know, and, and that was another thing that I was thinking of. I was just like, after I got the second Pete Cheeto page, I was just like, I don't remember where the third one is. Oh my god, he's always so slidden. <laughs> frame perfect jump! Woohoo! Actually, I don't even know if those are frame perfect jumps, I'm gonna be honest here. Two more seconds than what I had last time. There we go. Sup, dude? Give me stuff. <laughs> Trader book. His gold feathers. <laughs> Goodbye to all those double chins. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest here, I don't see Bruntilda with any double chins. Hello there, FICO97. How is it going? I love how you're just like a certain thing. I mean, you could tell me. It's not like I, you know, would be like a huge surprise or whatever. I already knew that, you know, the third Gino page existed. Oh. <laughs> Jalapeno shit. <laughs> True. Where's the friend? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, did I mention that this was a, a cozy uh, uh, game uh, hub, world hub? 24-hour <laughs> stream. I don't know about that one. Uh, but I do intend to go for a little bit longer. Uh, there is at least one other thing that I want to play. <sighs> Yay! And there's the entrance to Click Clock Wood. Off we go. Alrighty. So I'm glad that, uh, no, there's no meeples in the chat, Cajun, I'm sorry. So I'm glad that, um, I, I learned that, you know, with the last recording session, I, I learned that I can fall back on the stream recording if I have to. And I also bumped up the volume of my voice just a little bit because of that. Um, I felt like the volume of my voice wasn't super high up. Um, so, and you know, that was by design from a long time ago. 
but uh, yeah, now I bumped it up a little bit. Nice number of subs, Julia. Now, if only I had 69 subs on Twitch. <laughs> yes, indeed. Wait, what? 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 This game reminds me of Donkey Kong. Was made by the same studio. Yeah. yeah, and and the same studio that made you know Donkey Kong Country and Donkey Kong Country 2 and what else? Oh, Golden Eye. That was God. What a great game. Goldeneye and Perfect Dark, which oh, Perfect Dark is getting a uh, a sequel, isn't it, or like a, a reboot or something? Oh, I'm glad, so glad that that health is still here. Thanks, Save States. Oh yeah, and Conquer. <laughs> right. Of course. Uh... All right. So you know, honestly, I should have looked up like an FAQ before this. <sighs> Where is the a stinky jiggy? It is up here, it's up here, yes, it really is up here. I got it! That's all for the jiggies in the lair. The lair. Oh my god. We are finally done with that. Oh boy, yes, we're finally done. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do first. I'm going to use those Cheeto codes. I'm going to use them up and I am going to make use of them. Somebody wish me a good breathe too. <laughs> we love going and tearing through these guys. We love going and killing us. We love killing things because we're killing things. <laughs> Thank you for the good breathe. I definitely needed that. Off we go, and off we go, and off we go. Whoops, over here. Wait, actually, let me go down here and grab these. <coughs> and grab them, I will grab them. Oh, I missed that one. Bad. Very bad. <laughs> Grunty's plan is rather cunning. When I'm thin, guys will come running. <laughs> Amazing. There was one earlier before I started the stream where she said, "Once when I'm thin once more, burgers, fries, and sh uh, something galore. <laughs> I'm glad that the first thing she wants to do when she loses weight is put the weight back on. <laughs> She's proud of her body that she stole with magic. Evil magic. That's not allowed. We can't have evil magic running around here. Yeah, there's, there should be laws about that. Alrighty. Stealing is bad. <clears throat> Unless you really need it. <laughs> then it's perfectly fine and you shouldn't get in any trouble for it. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I typed in GGG old feathers. <laughs> good, 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 gold feathers. Whoops. Yeehaw! Ah. Oh no, you don't. <laughs> Welcome to t -t -t Target. A post Malone X Pokemon virtual concert. What? That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to run up this hill. I ran up the hill. I did it. 
I would love uh, Kazooie's response to that. Oh my god, what is this nonsense? <sighs> Heck. Yeah, the really annoying thing is that these guys are not easy to kill. I don't really want to use the gold feathers again. I was gonna say I'm maxed out on everything and I'm ready to go, and then this happens. <sighs> Unbelievable. Hydrate. Oh man, I gotta refill it. Hey! Rude. Be rude, dude. Also, wasn't there a. Uh... Perfect. Oh, there's the cutscene again. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Gruntilda called Banjo dumb while you were gone. Wow. That's a real shocker. I wouldn't have expected that. Alright, so let's move on to Grunty's Furnace Fun. <laughs> yeah, you're cheering now, but uh, well, we'll have to see. Time for some funky music, though. The two of them thought that was funny because there was this Skype recording program called Pamela, and they would just call it Pamela. Why is something on the Barbie blinking? Is that a goldfish? It's just it's like a goldfish still alive! Honestly, I gotta say, I like the look of this ending more than the the actual ending. I, it seems a lot more cozy. We like cozy around here. Just like cozy hubs. Cozy witch layers. <laughs> oh, wow. They got the, uh, the speedy speed shoes. Wow, how convenient. You're, we're right back here. I know that wasn't the real ending, guys. Can you believe? <laughs> yeah, what is that fish's fate, though? That's the real question. Oh. Wait, that's the witch's... Uh, yeah, the Grunty Furnace Fun Cauldron. <clears throat> there was a one-up up here, which, you know, I don't need, but whatever. Why not? It's there. Eight hundred and ten notes needed for that. <laughs> Someone named Big Butt. stealing machine. <laughs> also, I, I could have sworn I remember like a cutting room floor thing or whatever. There's like something behind this door. Like there's actually like a room or something that is unused. Or maybe I'm just making that up. I, I, I could swear though. Who is this door? I don't know. The game was just a simulation. Yep. Alrighty. So now we're going to get those last bonus things for getting an absolute redonkulous number of music notes. Yeah! That maxes out blue eggs. 
Yeah, all this stuff maxes out, um, all of the, uh, stuff that you use. Um, but there's one special door, which I believe was the one that I opened just before this, the 882 door. Very oddly specific number, 864. <laughs> The real game was the big butt we made along the way, yes. Alright, into this special 882 door we go, which I don't know why it wasn't just 900. Nope. We need four more jiggies for this last one. Which gives us double health! <laughs> now that's the serious health. <clears throat> Alrighty. <laughs> Sewer breath. <laughs> okay there, okay. <laughs> this pot is awfully nice. Ew. That is disgusting. Nice and hot. <laughs> we'll sort her out. <clears throat> Dog box. That's a walking jerk. That's disgusting, thank you for reminding us. Alrighty. <clears throat> Alright, so into the ding pot we go. To uh, the final boss. This is it, this is really it, oh my god!